Just gonna do a little review on the Max D. Uh, I bought this trailer last spring. I think I've not had it quite a year now. And uh, man, I, I went from uh, a smaller Brymar trailer to this. And oh my God, what a world of difference. Uh, this one's a 14 footer. It's got the, the steel I-beam frame and uh, it's got the jacks for loading, loading ramps in the back and it's got the high sides. And uh, you just ripped down an entire chimney, threw it in here. Uh, it's almost to the top. Uh, it's just, a, you know, like, I don't know, 16 inches below the top here. It doesn't look like a lot of weight, but I mean, this is a lot of weight. Uh, the trailer's rated for 10,000 pounds. This is probably 10,000 pounds. Uh, and because it's got this telescopic piston here, right at the front this thing won't even hesitate not even for a second to dump that um it'll just go up I, you can put you could you, i don't know how much weight you can put in i've put six yards of loam in this uh damp loam and it just dumps it doesn't even care the pitch hopper doesn't care look at my pitch hopper people think that's just for roofs people are idiots pitch hopper does whatever it wants um oh I'll show you the box. So in here, uh, so it's your control. It's got a nice long wire. It doesn't go all the way to the back. Uh, it's got the quick uh, battery tender uh, plug here, which I like. I plug it in when I need to. I haven't had it go dead yet, but um, this is where the hydraulic fluid goes, hydraulic pump, uh, and it comes with two batteries. A little spot for your chain and binders. Um, what else do we got? Oh, nice tarp. Tarp, you can just quickly pull it out, slide it down. It's got these nice little hooks over here for it. Just clips right in. Uh, nice barn door style gates. It's got the spreader gates. The ramps are pinned underneath. Uh, and the license plate, look at the license plate. No more backing into stuff or when you when you dump the trailer, uh, you're smashing up your license plate. It's on the side here out of the way. They thought of a lot of things on this. Uh, it's it's a pretty good trailer. If you look at some of the welds, you're like, you know, it's got wire hanging off. You know, it's solid the fit and finish of the weld. So maybe, you know, they could be a little bit cleaner, but uh, really rugged trailer. Uh, I've been throwing debris. I mean, you can smash and bend stuff, but uh, it's pretty rugged. And compared to my Brymar, uh, world of difference. So uh, that's the Max D. Uh, and I'm almost a year later, really happy with it. Uh, would definitely buy it again. Here we go. Max D ready to dump. Boy, there's still all kinds of room in here, even though there's a ton of weight, but... Uh, plenty more room still, and I bet it would dump more. Uh, get these doors all chained up. You got some nice little latches for the chains. And I'm ready to dump. So let's watch the telescopic cylinder here. And look, it didn't even hesitate for a second. If this was a scissor hoist or the dual piston or single piston, it would have sat there and struggled and struggled before it even budged anything. This telescopic cylinder is, like, unstoppable. You didn't even hear a strain in the pump. I mean, it's just nice and easy on it. It does take a little bit. It's not the fastest uh, dump. One of the nicest features that I like is it's gravity down. You know, we're not using uh, we're not using any kind of battery power to to lower the the body, so you'll never get stuck up in the air if you you know a lot of times you go to dump and be at the end of your battery life, and uh, you might get stuck in the air if you don't have a charge.
that's as far as my remote comes back. It would, it would be nice if it was just a little bit longer, but I guess it's okay. Breaking some trees up there. Oh, she's buried. There you have it. That's a good sized pile of rubble. Everything dumped out nice and neat. Nice and clean. Alright. Here we go. This is the sole part. The first cylinder goes in pretty quick. And then after that, a little bit slower. And then when it hits that third cylinder, it does go pretty slow. But all in all, it doesn't take that long. It's a lot better than uh, moving it by hand, that's for sure. All right, there you have it. That's the Max D.